Windows 10 is no longer going to receive feature updates, moving forward. Microsoft have officially announced that they will stop releasing new feature versions of Windows 10, as the main focus now is Windows 11, and Windows 12 could be coming out next year, although nothing has been confirmed by Microsoft. Windows 10 does not stop receiving security patches however, it will still continue to receive updates through October 2025, when support for Windows 10 finally comes to an end, and then what? Businesses usually stay with older versions of Windows, due to costs of upgrading and purchasing Windows licenses. Meanwhile, consumers make up a smaller percentage of Windows market share, so they can often afford to get a new system, but not everyone will have the money for a new PC, and some people, like myself, will want to look into alternative operating systems, such as Linux, BSD, or one of those lesser known ones, like Heiku, React OS, or something in the unknown category, which currently holds about 5% market share, so that means that a very small percentage of people can and will look at these other systems, but what you use your PC for will determine whether Linux is right for you, because Linux is not for everyone, it does come with its own learning curve, although distros such as Linux Mint are great for beginners and noobs, but because Linux has less than 3% market share, and it has such a wide range of distributions, and a lot less stuff works on Linux, take Notepad++ for example, and yes, Wine will help you run some stuff, but it does not cut the mustard for every Windows program, and using a virtual machine is no good either, it lacks access to your resources and hardware, so anything that needs power, like gaming, won't work under virtualized environments, although it is possible to do old or retro gaming inside a VM. Also, Linux is often used in the world of servers, a completely different sector of computing in general, so that is where it currently dominates the market, but will the average consumer go to Linux, or would an organization use it? It depends. If you need FL Studio, you cannot use Linux, as FL Studio does not support it natively, and if you want a Linux-only program, the same goes vice versa in the sense that you can only use that program on Linux, not Windows or Mac OS. If you want to try Linux, make a bootable USB for your desktop or laptop, and if you're keen on installing it inside your host OS, just to see how things work, you can use something like VirtualBox, and create a Linux virtual machine, which could be for something like Ubuntu, or Linux Mint. You can also try BSD, Heiku, React OS. 3 DAWs, and other systems in VirtualBox, the only OS you cannot use in it is Mac OS, and I have seen many tutorials on how to install Mac OS, let me tell you, it fails almost every time, so if you want to try Mac, you're out of luck, unless you have the money to buy one. Other than that, there is nothing else to mention, just take note of this, because if you're still using Windows 10, you will no longer get a new major release. So no 23H2 or 24H2 for Windows 10, it's the beginning of the end for Windows 10, which is sad, because I like Windows 10 more than Windows 11, but I guess it had its time, like Windows 7 and Windows XP, but even when a version goes end of life, you can still use it, I often use legacy versions of Windows and virtual machines to run older software, and see what old versions of Windows are like and Windows 10 runs OK in a virtual machine, so if you still wish to use Windows 10 after October 2025, you can do so, and if you're careful enough, you can mitigate chances of being hacked, although it's always advisable to go to the latest operating system from Microsoft, Apple, or Google, and if you use Linux, try stay up to date with the distro you use as well. What are your plans, moving forward? Will you go to Windows 11, or look at Linux? Let me know down in the comments section below. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe, and do enable notifications, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.